because I got a glimpse of some VA drama, right? It's like Housewives of VA um, type That's of stuff. Funny. <laughs> so, um, basically what happened, and I'm going to speak from my understanding of what I saw. So the VFW um, essentially f- coordinated this whole thing and said, hey, we're going to have VFW reps. We're going to have VSRs, 20 of them to be exact. We're going to have a tent to where people can talk to VSRs. And then these three mobile CMP exam units, and we're going to get ratings. And Big VA was like, yep, we're down. So boom, they go. Um, you know, local regional office is in charge of this. We come on Saturday morning, and the first thing the local regional office says is, hey, we're not doing ratings. Now, you can imagine if you flew from Vegas or you drove from Texas, you're pissed off. And that's what happened. That happened on Saturday morning. And um, Jay and I, we were we were talking with the VFW. People started crowding around us who came to the clinic because of, uh, of the channel. And I felt weird. I was like, dude, I mean, I don't know what to tell, tell you. So then I spoke with the VFW, and this gentleman was extremely pissed off, okay? Because the – here's the drama. Louisville Regional Office – basically said, hey, we're not doing that to the VFW. And the VFW is like, yeah, well, big VA said you are. And not joking at all, the assistant director of the event, well, the assistant director of operations and admin had to call the undersecretary of the VBA, right, which is which is a big deal position, okay? These are serious positions. Um, had to call them on the phone, get them on the, uh, on the line, and then have big VA – say, hey, Louisville RO, do your job. And it was just insane to me. And I think what that means to the everyday veteran is there's a clear disconnect between VA and the regional offices. And you wouldn't think so. And I didn't even even have that thought until I I saw VSRs say they're not doing – like your whole job is to adjudicate a claim. You go to a claim clinic but you don't adjudicate claims. Like, what are you even saying right now? And they genuinely thought that was going to fly. It did not. So Saturday at around 2 p.m. in the afternoon, they did start giving out ratings. Um, But it is insane that it took the undersecretary of VBA, right? So so in, in the military world, that would be like you're on the team, the squad level. This would be like your regimental commander, right? So above battalion, you're at regiment 06, maybe some stars. Um, you know, the the Camp Lejeune commander saying, hey, you're going to go to the field today. That's basically what happened. And you're just like, dude, what? What's happening? So do, do you have any do you have anything to add from your experience as a VSO looking at the disconnect between, you know, big VA and then regional office? They are definitely their own islands. So yeah. it is definitely not a, a, a continental organization, right? So it's just a bunch of islands out there. And and each one has its own king or queen, right, that's running it. Mm-hmm. Um, it uh, Sure, you have the big VA who – it okay, so like look, it, it is almost absolutely like the states if you look at it that way, right? So you have the president of the United States. You have federal laws, right? And then you have the states that go, eh, I don't care. We can smoke weed here, right? And then it's like, oh, okay, well, that seems weird. Uh, but that's exactly how it is. All, all the regional offices operate differently. Some are – that you would think that it's like Starbucks, you go in and you order whatever your drink is and it's going to taste exactly the same. And, and you, they're going to say your name and all that stuff. And everybody's going to have blue hair. Um, it's, but it's not right. It is definitely not. <laughs> but what's funny, Clay, uh, the blue hair <laughs> one, that one got me. That one got me. So, so, well, I mean, it's just, it's, it's funny how that is with Starbucks anyway. So um, the, the, the big point though, is that they are definitely not, Starbucks, right? It is definitely not everything is the same, no matter where you go. It is the opposite. They have a lot, just like the medical side, right? The VHA, they, the, the, the directors that run their healthcare facility with all their clinics, they have a ton of power and they are left to do what they want, right? As long as they're meeting the overarching mission, right? Um, they might get handed down some things, right? You know, maybe you need to, you know, boost up, boost down, you know, uh, 
whatever reduction in force or whatever it is, but, uh, but how they run it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's always been that way. Um, at least as far back as I can remember. And what really sucks about that is one office might do really, really well. Now where I was, when I was accredited veteran service officer running, <laughs> running my team, we were on a border County. So meaning that the next county over went to a different regional office and we went to a different one right wow. so depending on the veteran right if you went here then you went there and if you went here then your claim went there and um when when we did this now now they got all the ai stuff that's just routing them all over the place and they started that when i was there um but it's there's certain things that that um will always be in the more localized office and that's going to be things like your um vr &E, right you got to go meet with your counselor they're not going to ai figure out that they have more time in in florida so you got to go to florida for your you know vr &E. no they got to go to the local one so um what we found was is is in some places would do certain things really good and better than the other right and so mm -hmm. sometimes we would actually sit hey look your your case is about this you need VR and E. You we need we you need to do it here because yeah. we have a better uh, VR and E counselor that you're going to see who's a little more open to actually having a conversation um, versus the other one. And so the offices at the county veteran service office level would work with each other and refer people back and forth depending on what the needs were to get the better result for the veteran. So anyway, yeah, that's that's horrible. I can't believe that that. Um, you talk about thinking that everything is set up. You got all your T's crossed, I's dotted, but it shows you the pushback, right? Yeah, that they exactly. have for wanting wanting to do anything like that. So here's here's the takeaway, right, Clay? Is they, whoever said that, felt empowered to say that. Mm -hmm. Because that's the overarching feeling, right? Yeah. Which means that that conversation's still happening. Hell no, we're not going to keep doing this next time you need to say no or whatever it is right or we need to somehow get out of this and they're going to use the same argument we have other work to do there's people they i mean they have every argument you could think of not to do it so mm -hmm. i think that um it was the vfw you said right yeah i, th I think that they're really going to have to they're really really going to have to work with um the upper echelons of leadership and try to get everybody on the same page. And then I think that we also have to remember that now this is a people, it's a people thing, right? So people are, people are weird, right? So now all of a sudden, if you start forcing people to drink, whatever the Kool-Aid is, you might get people trying to slip a little something in the Kool-Aid because now they're just pissed off. Right. Yeah, so, so now all of a sudden, well, yo, you think you need that rating? You think denied. Or, you know, you think you're, you think you're a 30%, maybe you're a 10, not to be the conspiracy guy, you know, that's you, usually your role. But, um, I think that, uh, I think that, that this is, this could be a slippery slope and that's very disheartening to hear that VA employees said that in, in this arena of we're coming together. I feel like a politician. We're coming together so we can you know deliver benefits to veterans and and they don't want to do that that's weird so yeah, i don't know that's my that's mine 